Hi, I'm Glenn Dewis, and in this video, I want to show you how you can very quickly and easily reduce or remove skin reddening using a simple hue and saturation adjustment layer. Okay, so before we get on with reducing reddening in skin, let's just go through some basics of using a hue and saturation adjustment layer to change some colors. Easy example we've got on screen now, you can see this guy wearing this uh, rugby kit, this blue and white rugby kit. If all I wanted to do was change the color of that kit, I can choose a hue and saturation adjustment layer. And in there, we've got this masters menu. If I click on that and choose blues, I can then simply use the hue slider to change the color of the kit. And that's generally doing that because the blue in the original kit is pretty even across the whole of it. So very, very simple, very quick, very easy. Now, taking it one step further, if we look at this Lamborghini here, this has originally been photographed outside, cut out and put into a new scene. But one thing that we needed to change was the windows here where we can actually see the light from outside still visible, giving us this blue in the windows. Now, if I use the same technique as the rugby player, so I choose a hue and saturation adjustment, I change from masters to blues. Now when I use the hue slider, we can see that not all the blues are being picked up like they were when we used the rugby kit. Now at the bottom, you can see these two colored bars and there's four markers. Two middle markers are basically saying the color above it is what you're selecting. The two outer ones are kind of like feathering the color off. So it's basically saying, although you want to choose the color in between these two middle ones, will also allow a little bit of this color on either side to come in as well. So obviously the settings we've got at the moment aren't enough. So let's just bring that back to zero. What we can do with these markers then, rather than just having it default as what Photoshop says we're going to include, we can grab one of the outside ones bang them all together, then click on this plus sampler and click down and drag all over the window to go all over the blue. And you'll notice as I do that, those markers have now separated and basically Photoshop is saying wherever you clicked over, these are the colors that are in the window. So now I can actually click on the hue slider and start to come in and change the color of the window. Let's just say that I wanted to maybe reduce the saturation in that window completely, grab the saturation, all the way to minus 100. It's pretty much gone apart from this little bit, so I could just click a little bit more over the top of it. But if that doesn't work, just come in, grab one of those pointers, drag it over a little bit more to say, just bring a little bit more of the color on outside there, a bit more of that cyan, and now you can see it's completely gone. So we can use that now when we're looking to change the redness or reduce the redness in somebody's skin. Here's a perfect example that I've got. This is a guy that I photographed from the Bista Home Guard. They're a living history group. And we can see this chap here has got a bit too much reddening in the skin there on his cheeks, certainly on his nose, and maybe a little bit on his forehead head as well. We can change that now completely, really easily using a hue and saturation adjustment layer. So just like before then, I'm going to click on the hue and saturation. This time where we've got master, I'm going to change this to reds because that's the color that generally we want to change in his skin. And again, as before, Photoshop gives us these pointers or these markers at the bottom to say this, this is the color range that we're now going to affect. So what we can do here is just bring up the saturation all the way to plus 100. Obviously that's gonna increase anything that's red in the picture is gonna get some kind of saturation in it. The skin has clearly got a little bit of red in it, so that's been saturated a bit more there, it's gone quite orange. But the most saturated areas, the most red areas in the picture were the areas that we wanted to change on the cheeks and the nose. And you can see when we look at it now, they've gone pretty much nuclear on his face. They're really starting to stand out. So what we can do now that we know we're affecting the reds is tell Photoshop to really narrow down now to only affect the red in the picture that we want to change. So with these markers, rather than me grouping them all together like I did with the Lamborghini windows, I'm going to click in the middle of them and I'm actually going to drag it over to the left hand side. And as I bring it over to the left, we can see now it's starting to narrow down the areas that are really dominantly red in the picture. And that was those areas that we wanted to change on his cheeks and on his nose. And we can see that we can go all the way to the left no reds are being selected, but if we bring it over to the right a little bit, we can start to introduce the most saturated areas here. The most red areas are definitely on the cheeks and on the nose just there. So I now know that the position of these markers is just around the red area that is this area on the face we want to change. So let's just bring the saturation back to zero. 
So all I need to do now then, if I want to reduce the red in the picture, is introduce the opposite color, which in the color wheel will be cyan. So I'm gonna grab the hue slider, drag it over to the right hand side. And if you look at the picture now, you can start to see that that redness is definitely disappearing to the point that it's literally all gone now. So here's the before and after. Let me just zoom in just a little bit for you as well. So we go before, after, before, after. Now it might be that there's areas that were affected that you didn't want to be affected. Like let's say his lips maybe, there's a bit in red in there that you didn't want to lose out. Well because we've used a hue and saturation adjustment layer, we have a layer mask attached to it, so I could just get a simple round soft brush with a black foreground colour and paint over the lips to remove the effect of that adjustment layer. And that is that. A really quick, simple way of reducing reddening in skin. Now if you haven't already, make sure you click on the subscribe button. It's just a, a great way for me to know that you folks are out there and you're giving us some support putting these videos out. Uh, but that's it from me. I shall see you next time.